So I created an artificial intelligence based tool to improve pancreatic cancer treatments today. So it works in line with radiotherapy to make the current radiotherapy more effective. I have to say, I mean, there's no doubt uh, Sarah and I would not be anywhere near able to do something like this, but, but <laughs> how, how do you get into algorithms and AI at, at your age? Is that something that everyone at school gets taught these days, or is this a sort of pet hobby that you've obviously excelled at? It's kind of a hobby. I started at a young age uh, doing basic programming, but it's been developing going from like simple drag and drop uh, programming blocks to today uh, doing artificial intelligence programming. And um, it's not something that kids are usually exposed to, which I think uh, needs to like sort of uh, more kids need to get involved in the STEM and the related fields. I mean, what you've done, I'm, re I'm just reading some background, aims to improve accuracy, reduce invasiveness, and increase efficiency during treatment of pancreatic cancers, which is notoriously one of the worst and hardest to treat cancer. So is this something that's actually going to be put into practice? Yeah, it's, it's, well, it's part of my future work to develop my tool further and then bring it in line with uh, to hospitals for real MRI guided radiotherapy machines. So uh, what it can do is instead of manual doctors or radiologists having to segment the pancreas, it can do it in real time uh, using an artificial intelligence based algorithm. Just an incredible and amazing competition and uh, congratulations for winning. I'm glad that the prize is also amazing. You, you win $25,000. Yeah. And do, do you know what you're planning to do with that? Well, I, I've split it. I've decided to like split it in three main areas. So one is to continue my research in uh, pancreatic cancer to develop my tool and bring it to the next level. Mm -hmm. Second would be to set some aside for college. Um, I'm planning to go to medical school to become a doctor. So that could be one of the things there. I have a feeling you'll get in. Yeah. And th what's the third bucket? And then the third is to uh, put some money. I'm creating a nonprofit called Samyak Science Society. So I believe that like all children of any ages should be exposed to STEM, and um, I, I want to help make that something a reality today. How, how did you get? interested in, in pancreatic cancer specifically? So last summer I went to visit my brother in Boston and I came to know about some research that was happening on pancreatic cancer. So I learned about the low survival rate and some other surprising statistics and it was really uh, intriguing to me that this disease had not had much work done on, done on it already. So I wanted to change that and I was also working on programming artificial intelligence so I combined those two areas.